So this is my main case camera bag, if you will, that I use to get my equipment from point A to point B as I travel around the world. And it is the Low Pro Pro Roller 200. Uh, this is the one that I got stopped with by Air France and uh, very typical of the, of the way I carry my gear for the last, or the way I've carried my gear for the last, I don't know, five, maybe ten years. Uh, this, is, this is a little bit bigger than I actually need for my camera equipment, except for the fact that I carry other things in this bag. I've got kind of a unique system where I use, I've taken all the guts out of the Pro Roller 200, and I've replaced the camera compartment with an F-stop gear ICU uh, large that holds my cameras. Now what's unique about this is that I can pull this out and individually carry, carry this around and if they got really uh, adamant about me not being able to bring my care, camera gear on board I can pull this out, put a, put a uh, strap on it and carry this as just the camera equipment itself. But this is the bag, this is the, this is the Pro Roller that uh, was, was, I was carrying my equipment in when, when they wouldn't let me bring it on. Now, what I wanted to do was show you some of the things that are in here, um, and, and then you can get an idea of, of, of the size of this equipment and how much smaller the Micro Four Thirds has gotten that allows us to be more, uh, um, have, a, have a smaller footprint as we make our way through the airports. Uh, and you could, I, I think, in the future, I may eventually, depending on if I want to get rid of this stuff, go to the Pro Roller 100. But as you'll see, I've got the Panasonic, like our Lumix um, GH5, as well as the 1 to 400 millimeter lens that fits in there. Second GH5 with the 12 to 60 millimeter f2.8 to f4 lens. And these are the two main cameras that I used in. Europe on that on those on those two months that I was in Europe and I would say 90% of the time it was this body with this lens the 12 to 60 has been uh, just a tremendous tool uh, and, and, and really cut down the number of lenses that I need to carry along with that I have a G85 um, extra body just in case something goes wrong I've got one Lumix FL 360 flash. I also carry the 35 to 100 2.8, which is basically a 70 to 200 2.8 for a little more speed. I've got um, a set of Kenco extension tubes, and below that I have the the Leica um, the Leica macro uh, 45 millimeter macro. So I'm, I'm covering all the bases for the most part here and able to get a lot, of, a lot of gear in a very small confinement. Yet, it's small to us compared to what I used to carry, but it's still big to the airlines. Um, we're gonna, this is a little bag I keep with extra camera, ca uh, lens caps, back caps, batteries, and a number of assorted things as well as on the side of this I have the um, power strip. I've got two GH5 chargers and one G85 charger. The cords that go along with the G85 charger. Uh, I've got the a low pro lens, or I'm sorry, filter holder, as well as split neutral density filters, microphones, this is the Panasonic microphone as well as some lavalier mics. And a flashlight and a headlamp and that's about it. So this is basically the gear that, that I was stopped with. And um, so, you know, I may look at trying to pare this down even further, which I could if I didn't carry my microphones, carry all these filters. But in general, this is a, this, this bag holds a lot of equipment and I've never been stopped on any other airline other than in India once and so I don't think it's a big deal but I will have to make a decision later on as to whether we need to even go smaller and carry just the low pro pro roller 100 but as I said you can pop this this camera case out uh, and and put a strap on it which I do and that's how I got past low, uh, Air France they allowed me to do that, if you can believe it. They allowed me to do that 
to get through the gates, and then they didn't care what I did once I got past the gates. So figure, fig, go figure that one. Um, anyway, so that's my bag. That's what I carry, and uh, it works very well. And it's considerably smaller and lighter than what I used to carry. The Leica 100 to 400 is equivalent to 800 millimeters. Compare that to what I used to carry, a 600 f4 all by itself would take up half of this case by itself and then you might be able to get a body in there. So that's what I'm shooting. That's what created the havoc with Air France when I came through Europe this last month.